Hey comic book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0 and fans, you're with me, Mike Spider Slayer. Welcome back everybody and we're getting ready to do, yes you guessed it, another comic book review. And today guys, we're going to be talking about Superman Wonder Woman issue number 4, that's right fans, uh, written by uh, Charles Soule and the artwork is done by Tony S. Daniel. Uh, which I really enjoy uh, Tony S. Daniels' artwork uh, when he did, I think it was Action Comics for that short run or that that short story arc. Uh, I really enjoyed his his art and it really shines uh, in this series. Uh, Love the cover here of Superman and Wonder Woman uh, kissing and it's the shattered glass. Uh, I really enjoy that and it says the secret's out. Uh, when you go into the interior artwork, um, it's just as well. It's just as good. Um, I'm trying to show you maybe some standout pages. This page right here has, has done real well. Uh, lots of detail on your art. There may be some sketch or some pencils that you see in there, but it's not overdone. It's done quite well. Here's uh, towards the end of the book. Um, as you can see, and then in this backstory here, uh, this is a different artist that does uh, uh, does this story, but this art here um, was done really well too. Um, I'm trying to find out who it was. But yeah, Paulo Sequeira uh, did the secondary story. It's kind of like a continuation in a way of what happened in the actual book. So both artists here um, really kind of shined uh, for the series. So. Uh, here's one more page here with Batman. So I really enjoyed the artwork in this book. It makes it enjoyable to read. Uh, so what did I think of this particular story? Uh, well, this story was done really well. Um, it has great narration by Wonder Woman uh, in the issue. You see her little dialogue boxes. And as the story is being told, uh, as the story is going on, uh, you have this narration by Wonder Woman. Uh, as the interactions between uh, Clark and Zod happen throughout the issue. And Zod has this goal uh, to get into the Phantom Zone to try to release Ferora. And um, we can see that Superman has trust issues uh, with Zod. Uh, he's just trying to take precaution uh, throughout the issue and Zod has a motive you can tell uh, just by the look and the expressions on his face and um, and his motive obviously was to try to get for Ferrara to the actual uh, Phantom Zone to get her out of it so they can be reunited again um, and let's just say at the end of the issue, uh, he is successful at doing that after tricking Clark in a way. Uh, what's going to happen at this point, I'm not really too sure. Um, but I really like the main story. I love the interactions between Zod and Clark. I also like the interactions between um, Diana and Clark as well. Um, in the beginning, they have this talk about how it's important or how his identity of being Clark Kent is hard. Uh, it gives him a challenge to face everyday reality, so which I think is pretty neat. Um, so, And then in the book, there was this secondary um, issue and, or secondary story where it had to do with uh, Kat and Aaron, um, and they discussed that they broke the big story that they got it out there that Superman and Wonder Woman was together. And I thought one of the key um, pages in this issue was this page right here because it's the blog heard around the world, which I thought was phenomenal. Um, it was really neat because it's like you see everyone's reactions and everyone is talking and uh, you know, it's as they shared that kiss was where all that news broke out when they were in the air. And uh, that's when Superman heard everything for the first time. And Clark is trying to reason with Kat and sitting here talking to her uh, about, you know, there's a reason why you got this story, why you got uh, this particular flash drive. And uh, you get to see the different interactions, which I thought was really neat. Um, 
between all the major characters in the universe. Uh, so you get to see the reaction between Lex Luthor, and then you get to see the reaction between Batman on how he's not uh, happy about the whole situation. And, um, and you actually get to see Diana's reaction as well. You get to see how she reacts, how the world is just blowing it all up. How Super Woman, Superman and Wonder Woman are together, and the city's making it all crazy, and uh, really interesting stuff here. Uh, let me just tell you guys that this book has really surprised me. Um, this is the Superman book that I like, and with Wonder Woman added to the whole thing, I it just gives a different appeal to it. You know, yes. Superman and, and Lois are always the ones that really, you know, should be together. They've always been that way. Uh, but I like the Superman and Wonder Woman aspect because they don't overdo it. It's not this complete love fest that all they do is hang out together and fight missions together. It's about them struggling being together, about how everything is going to you know, how everything is going to blow up when they're together, how they're going to invite, fight their adventures together. Um, it, it's it's going to be really neat. And the main story with the whole Zod thing and Ferrara, I thought that was really cool too. Uh, again, the artwork is really good, and this has met my expectations. Even though there wasn't really a ton of action in this issue, I found myself intrigued with the story of what's going to happen next between our two main characters and what's going to happen to Zod, Doomsday, and everything else and how the world is going to perceive them as them being an item and a couple and how they're going to handle that together. So interesting stuff here. I really enjoyed this book. The two separate stories, I didn't really felt that they needed to be separate. They could have been together. Um, but I can see why they they really did that. They wanted to separate the main story from the whole blog thing. So I get that. And, uh, you know, and it shortened the main story a little bit for me. So almost a perfect issue. Really close. I'm going to give it a four and a half out of five stars. You guys let me know what you thought in the comments below of this particular issue. And guys, as always, thank you for watching Comic Book Corner 2.0. Until the next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon. Bye.